Okay, so recruiting is becoming increasingly challenging due to a shortage of skilled candidates, open positions, and the need for diverse talent. This makes it really difficult for recruiters to source, hire, and retain top talent efficiently, leading to increased costs and reduced productivity. To ensure effective recruiting, I wanna really break down the process into macro and micro scales. On macro scales, we're gonna really take a look at the organization as a whole, how the leadership operates. The first thing you need to realize on a macro scale is how people will perceive your company. We're living in the digital age now where online reviews and user experiences will be shared en masse. Reputation. Developing a reputation is really essential for businesses to attract and retain the best talent. The Society for Human Resource Management recognizes the importance of creating a strong brand image that really appeals to potential new hires. A well-crafted brand image helps the company stand out from the competition and positions it as a desirable place to work. One of the most effective ways really to promote the company's brand image is to really include employee testimonials that highlight what they like about working at a company. Employee testimonials can be in the form of video or written statements that showcases the company's culture, values, and work environment. Potential candidates are more likely to be influenced by the positive experiences of current employees, and this can really be a powerful tool in attracting and retaining top talent. In addition to employee testimonials, promoting the company's brand image consistently across all platforms that may reach applicants is key. This includes the company's career page, website, social media, and in-person conversations at hiring events. By showcasing the company's strengths and unique culture through various mediums, the company can gain a competitive edge in attracting the right candidates. Developing a brand image that is really attractive to top talent is critical in today's competitive job market. When the company has a reputation as a fantastic place to work, more of the right candidates will be attracted to the company. This means that the company will have a pool of top talent to choose from when hiring, making the recruitment process more efficient and effective. Talent acquisition. Okay, so your branding is in place, your online presence looks good, and you've started to generate some really good reviews. Maybe at that moment, it's just you or a handful of people working at your company and you need to level up fast and add more people to your team. What do you do? Well, welcome to the next phase, talent acquisition. Only this time you're recruiting for yourself while also keeping your regular recruiting going. The same rules apply essentially. It goes without saying that recruiting the right talent is absolutely crucial for any organization to achieve success. However, finding exceptional talent can be a challenging task for recruiters. In fact, on average, recruiters spend up to one third of their work week searching for candidates to fill a specific role. This is a significant amount of time and effort that limits a company's ability to grow and scale. To really address this challenge, it's important to modernize the talent acquisition process by using talent cloud services. These services connect businesses with a network of experienced talent professionals who have a wide range of skills that can complement the existing team. Talent cloud platforms use advanced search and artificial intelligence, AI, to identify the most qualified candidates and eliminate those who don't meet the requirements. One such talent cloud service, one that I've really been enjoying as I learned about it, is High Five, which in many situations can help recruitment teams save up to 70% of their time on recruitment. This time can be redirected towards other important tasks such as building better relationships with employees, enhancing company culture, and developing new strategies to achieve the company's vision. By leveraging the capabilities of talent, cloud services business can really significantly improve the recruitment process and acquire top talent that can drive business growth and success. So in addition to saving time, talent cloud services also offer several other benefits. For example, they provide access to a broader pool of candidates from different regions, backgrounds, and industries. This increases the chance of finding the best talent for the job faster. Additionally, talent cloud platforms can help businesses to better manage the recruitment process, from posting job openings to conducting interviews to also onboarding new hires. This level of support can really reduce the workload on recruitment teams and ensure a smooth hiring process. Leverage the right sources to find exceptional talent is essential for businesses looking to grow and scale. And that applies to any business, really. By adopting talent cloud services like High Five or any other apps of your choosing, organizations can streamline the recruitment process, save time, resources, and acquire top talent that can really help achieve their big picture vision. Niches and keeping up with events. So you have your business up and running. You have some traction in terms of branding and online presence, and you've started adding people to your team. Now what? I was debating perhaps making this macro point number one, but it's really something that can be relevant anywhere in the process. Before you even begin your business, you should have some sort of idea or pain point or niche that you're targeting. But niches really aren't monolithic or singular terms. Over time, what areas of the various industries you target can change just as the job 
job market changes. That or perhaps you find yourself in a situation where you're looking to add another niche or area of expertise to your wheelhouse. Either way, you'll need to really make sure that as a whole, you're staying up to date on what's happening in the job market and across every industry, especially the ones you're targeting or looking to target. One of the most obvious things in a case like this is that you'll be looking for new talent to add to your team. Talent that will be experts in their particular fields or niches, and most importantly, will know what to look for. This in turn will feed your reputation as a great company and attract more people, particularly if they're skilled in a niche you're looking for. You see how it all relates? Well, that's it for the macro stuff. Obviously, there can be way more topics on this, like deeper dives into strategies and the campaign directions and things like that, but these three should cover most of the basics. Now, what about the micro stuff? Don't be fooled by the name micro level. These things can actually make or break a company. They relate to things like managing employees, recruiting candidates, and overall work environments. They don't include things like which niche to market your services to, directions of your company, and redirecting strategies to match the overall market. Those are just macro level. So with that in mind, let's go over a few micro level topics. Keeping in touch with candidates. Candidates are your bread and butter in the recruiting business. And even if you don't end up placing someone for a client or even hiring them at your own firm, do make it a habit to stay in touch with these people. This probably sounds a bit counterintuitive at first, but it does actually bolster your ability to continue sourcing high quality talent. Think of it this way. How much time do you spend to find people who are super talented and highly qualified? Does it make sense to just throw them to the wind if the particular job they were applying for just wasn't a good fit? Even if there isn't an opening yet, there will likely be one in the future. And having someone who you've already vetted is going to make your firm or company much more attractive to any clients who hire you to find talent. Add to the interview process. Oftentimes, interviews can feel really awkward and personal, and especially if they're over Zoom, a bit dry and unengaging. At worst, it can feel like people are just numbers on the screen and they don't care about you at all. As a recruiter, you'll be interviewing people constantly. They're going to be an integral part of the process. So make sure that you do things during the actual interviews to really engage your candidate and make them feel like they're speaking to a human. I know that might sound silly or even unnecessary to say, but I can really guarantee that almost every person on this planet has a horror story of being interviewed and feeling like a robot was sitting in front of them even if it was an actual human being. Ask your candidate more open-ended questions and encourage a real conversation to develop. Don't be scared to get a little personal when appropriate, of course. Let them tell you about their success stories and failures and how they overcame obstacles. Though these might sound self-explanatory, they can really easily encourage a more real and human conversation to open up. It will also give you a better understanding of the personality, which is really important when adding someone to the team. Someone who is talented but a difficult worker can really end up doing more harm than good. On the flip side, Someone who really isn't as proficient yet, but has a good attitude and is willing to learn can quickly become a major asset. Make your offers quickly. Look, you've seen all my other videos. I talk about this all the time, but any candidate who is high in demand or is really good at what they do, you can be sure they're being courted by other recruiters, headhunters, or other companies. It's just the nature of the business. As the conduit between company and potential hire, your job is not only to make the deal happen, but to make it happen quickly. You don't want someone great to slip through the cracks because your hiring manager or client was dilly-dallying on their offer or your potential hire wasn't sure about how to move forward. You want to quickly find out the terms that your team can offer, the terms your hire wants, and find a way to either hopefully match them or come to a compromise that both parties will be happy with. The last point here is honestly the difference between successful and big-time recruiters and ones that struggle. It seems basic because in nature it is, but it's so, 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 so important. Move quickly and decisively. Well, that about wraps up this one. I kept the macro and micro points a bit shorter and sparser and numbers because I really want to focus on the most important ones and not really let the list get bogged down with too many details. What did you think? Is your company struggling with any of these points? Or were you ever in a position as a potential hire and dealt with a company that hadn't quite mastered their macro or micro? Let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, please feel free to support a fellow recruiter. Give us a like, subscribe, click that bell. It really means a lot. Feel free to also follow me as I try my best to also post the behind the scenes content daily. Thank you so much again. We'll see you on the next one.